नमस्ते आई एम चंद्रशेखर भड़सावड़े आई एम स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम सगुना बाग नेर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रायगढ़ एंड आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट राइस बेस्ड फार्मिंग सिस्टम इफ यू हैव हर्ड स्टीफन हॉकिंग्स रिसेंटली ही हैज सेड वर्ल्ड इज कमिंग टू अ कैटेस्ट्रॉफिक एंड बिकॉज ऑफ फूड शॉर्टेज एंड ग्लोबल वार्मिंग वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन इज ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन डिमांड्स देयर वॉन्ट्स आर ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग बट एट द सेम टाइम फार्मर्स आर गिविंग अप फार्मर्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड वी हैव टू बी वरीड अबाउट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड फूड शॉर्टेज एट द सेम टाइम इज देर अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट राइस फार्मर is always standing in the water and where the soil needs to be plowed the puddling has to be done and transplanting of rice seedlings have to be done rice farmers are usually very small and they are also poor farmers so puddling and standing in the water has got one more aspect and that is generation of methane gas greenhouse gas and you probably know methane is 22 times more harmful than co2 global warming is directly related to the rice cultivation and how many people in the world eat rice 50% people in the world eat rice and many scientists in the world are saying rice is a threat to the world our team team srt has come up with a new technique our technique srt means saguna rice technique where no plowing no puddling and no transplanting is required but at the same time the yield of the crop is at least doubled and sometimes it is tripled the cost of production has reduced by 50% if irrigation is available a farmer can take two more crops in the same field increasing the land utility by 300% above all these advantages one of the most important advantage is that soil organic carbon goes up it goes up by half a percent per year because in this system we leave the roots of the previous crop in the soil and those roots add organic carbon to the soil this is a zero till conservation agriculture climate smart agriculture technique whole world was looking for such something like this but god gave this technique to us we handed this technique first time to the farmers in 2013 when we had 30 farmers in two districts of maharashtra by last year which is 2015 kharif 2000 farmers were adopting this technique in 10 districts of maharashtra and this year it is expected to cross the number of 3000 in all 13 districts of maharashtra and six nearby states uh, to maharashtra this simple technique involves making of permanent raised beds and use of one very simple tool which is called srt frame to double the seeds onto the beds the technique involves rotation of different crops a thoughtful distribution of all the produce is designed in this system where the grain and the fruit is for human being the straw and the leaves are for animals and the roots are for the land srt farmers have demonstrated presence of earthworms for the first time in the world while the paddy is cultivated in the kharif season presence of earthworms also is a indication of this system is a aerobic method of paddy cultivation and if it is aerobic method of paddy cultivation naturally there is no methane generation from this type of paddy cultivation at the same time we have observed that all the nature has returned to saguna bag the birds have come back you can see a lot of reptiles and so many other animals which are favorable and not only this even the butterflies this is creating hope for rice production without the by product of global warming i confirm at this point that soil carbon management is key issue for food security and global warming we also feel 
it may be possible to revert effect in the desert by carbon management of soil.